Hello and welcome to another tutorial on coding in C Sharp. Uh, in the previous tutorial we looked at how to create variables and constants of different types. Um, and so once you've created variables um, or constants, you're going to want to use them in some way. So um, what we'll do in this tutorial is look at how to work with variables. We'll look at things like arithmetic operators and assignment operators. So being able to assign values um, to variables in different ways and also working with arithmetic operators for addition and subtraction and multiplication and so on. So this is a code where we left off in the previous tutorial. What I'm going to do is just delete all of the code inside this main method and I'm going to create a few variables and we'll start with using some arithmetic operators. So we'll work with um, float we could work with integer as well, um, but because we're going to be working with things like division, uh, we might not always get um, whole numbers as a result of uh, division, so we'll work with float so we can store numbers with decimal places. So I'll create a, a variable called num1, it's a float, and I'll give it a value of 6f. Um, if it's a... Um, a number that if it's a 6.0 you don't actually have to put the decimal place in there you don't need to put 0 you can just put 6 and then that with an F so that it knows it's a float. Okay I'll create another variable um, another float and we'll call this num2 or number 2 and this one will just give it a value of uh, say 4 and then what we'll do is we'll create um, a variable called total and what we can do is start working with these numbers. So we could um, add the two of them together. So um, what we, we might actually call it result instead of total. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just add these numbers together. And to add those numbers together, we just say num1 plus num2. Okay. Now we could just put um, numbers in here as well. We could say something like um, float result equals 4. 6 plus 4 or whatever, but because we're storing those values in variables, we can just um, call those variables here. So now what we could say is write a console.write line statement to output the value of the result variable. And let's go ahead and see what happens. There we go, we get a result of 10, which is shown on the screen. Okay, so, oops, let's close that. So what we could also do is add um, another number. We could add 10, run that, and now we should get a result of 20. So we don't just have to call, um, we don't just have to put in variables here. We can also put in raw values as well. Okay, so that's uh, addition. Now what we can try doing is maybe change this variable. In fact, We've already created the variable here and given its type of um, given it its, its type of float. So what we can do now is use that variable again, but we don't actually have to specify its type. We can just say result equals, and this time what we can do is um, uh, subtraction. So we can say num1 minus and take away num2 and display that result. Okay, so let's go and see what happens there we get a result of two, okay? Easy. So that is subtraction. We can also do multiplication. Result equals num1 multiplied, whoops, multiplied by num2. So we use the asterisk or star for multiplication, not an x. Run that. And we go with 24 as the result. Six times four is 24. Uh, and we can also do division. So result equals num1 divided by, so we use a forward slash for division, num2, and we run that, and we get the result 1.5. Okay, so what's going on here is we're creating this variable here called result, and for the, um, what we do first is we just do some addition, okay? And then what we do is we use that result variable again. We just update it each time. So this time we just subtract those two variables. Then we multiply them and then we divide. So um, we're only, we've got down here console.lightrun result. 
we're only displaying the output of the last um, the last instruction there or the last statement. We're not displaying the result of any of these three statements here. One other one that we can do, another other arithmetic operator we can use is the modulus or mod operator. So we can say result equals num1 mod, which is a percent symbol, num2. And basically what this will do is it will divide, um, so it'll do num1 divided by num2, but it will display the remainder of the division. So if we run this, we should get output of 2. Okay, because what it's doing is it's dividing num1 by num2, or 6 by 4. So 6 divided by 4, we get um, 4 goes into 6 once, and then we have a remainder of 2. So it's just displaying the remainder as the output, because we've said num1 mod num2, therefore just displaying the remainder. These are all examples of arithmetic operators. So we've got addition, subtraction, multiplication, division, and mod. Those are all arithmetic operators. What we'll also look at is assignment operators. So assignment operators are used to assign a value to a variable um, in different ways. So what I'll do is just make some more space here and we'll make a new variable. Uh, we might call this num3. Um, so uh, we might actually make this an integer instead of a float. So we we'll say int num3 equals, and we'll give it an initial value of maybe 30. Okay, and what we can do now, if we want to add a number to this variable, rather than saying something like, or we could say this, we could say num3 equals num3 plus whatever we wanted to add, say five, if we wanted to make it 35, we could do that. So we're basically taking the variable num3 and we're adding five to its existing value. So we could do that. What we could do instead is actually just shorten that and say plus equals five. So it's just a much shorter way of writing num3 equals num3 plus five. So plus equals. We can also do minus equals. Uh, we can do multiplied equals. We can also do um, divide equals as well, except um, we might want to work with a float when we're working with division. So um, that's uh, some shorter ways of using assignment operators or assigning values to variables, um, being able to do some arithmetic and assignment all in one go there um, really easily. Okay, so we've got plus equals, minus equals, multiplied equals, divide equals, um, quite easy to do. We can also, if we want to increment or just basically, um, we just want to increase the variable by one. So we just want to say num3 plus one. What we can do is say plus plus, okay? So what we might do here is just display the output of num3, we'll run that. And so it displays 31. So it's taking the value 31 and increasing it by one. If we want to take one off, minus one, we can say num3 minus minus and run that and here we get 29. Okay, so um, that's basically increasing or decreasing the value by one. All right, so that's uh, quite, quite easy to do as well. So those are basic, basic arithmetic operators and assignment operators we can use in the C-sharp programming language. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.